Hi, what we're going to be going over today is this animation I created for my Instagram account um, last year. It's a, an infinite loop, um, this kind of cylinder wrapped around a circle which is using a spline wrap and, um, and a twist. So um, let's get into building it. Um, what I'll mainly cover is the, the build side and then the materials, we'll just do a simple setup. So what we'll start off with is changing our settings. Um, I'll do 25 frames per second. We'll do it for three seconds and under our settings here, I'll change that to 25 and we're gonna be all frames. Okay, so what we're gonna start off with is a cylinder. We'll change this to be about 20 by 300. We're going to remove the caps because we want to wrap it around itself. So we want the two sides to join. And we will increase the height segments to 20. I'll make the rotational segments something like 6 for the moment so we can see what's going on. So uh, now what we'll do is put that into a circle spline. So I'm going to change the size of this down to 125 and then we're going to use a spline wrap to wrap the cylinder around the circle. So we'll grab the deformer, add that onto the cylinder and you'll see that the arrow is pointing in the wrong direction. What we actually want is the arrow to be pointing in the direction we want to wrap the cylinder around the circle. So we'll take that and rotate that through 90 degrees. Okay, and then we'll apply the spline in there and now we can see that the cylinder is being wrapped around the spline. Okay, so next we need is a twist deformer. So we'll add the twist deformer in there and then we'll say fit to parent and we'll twist that through 180 degrees. Okay, so now if we turn on the spline wrap, we can see that we've got our circle um, which is being used to wrap the uh, cylinder around it and we have the twist. So we can animate this already. This whole animation is driven by just two keyframes. We uh, go into the spline wrap and then under rotation, we're gonna animate this banking tool. So if we set the first frame to be zero, the last frame, we're gonna change that to 360. So we're gonna go for a 360 loop. We press play. And at the moment it's got easing at the start and the beginning so we're going to change that in the dope sheet to linear and now you can see we're animating infinitely already you could easily probably apply some colors or um, other materials to this shape but what we want to do is create this which is almost like an impossible shape okay so close that and if we go into back into cinema, what we're going to do is turn these two off for a second and we're going to bring in a cloner. Now, what I'm going to do is put these three items into a null object. So I'm going to group those together and these, when they're underneath an object, they affect them. But if they're in the same group as an object, they will also affect them. So we're still creating the same effect. So what that means is that we can put other items in this same group and they'll be affected also. So what I'm going to do is bring the cloner in here, bring the cylinder into that cloner and then I'm going to change that cloner to a grid array. Wow, let's just turn off. Oh, it's pretty crazy. That might make some interesting animations but I'm going to make this a simple two by two. So two by one by two and then change this to something like 30 by 30. Let's have a look what we're looking at. What I'll probably do is actually take the radius of this down to something like 10 and we'll leave the height segments at 40 maybe and the rotational segments I'm going to take up. So now what we can do so when we turn these back on we've got that animation okay so what we're going to do to make this more interesting is add a few more uh, details on these so it has those ridges and then we can apply some quick materials and put the neon on so we'll first take this and break it apart um, I'll turn all of these off 
and um, we'll get the cylinder and I'm going to get a loop selection and I'm going to to select every other loop. Okay, all right, bear with me, do this quickly. Okay, and then we're going to do some quick extrusions. So I'm going to pull each of these in a little bit, push out, push out again, pull in, and then this one will actually be the light. Now I'm going to go to select set selection so our, our lights that we have uh, we can we can apply the material to there okay so now that's in our loop we can put all of these into a subdivision surface and now we've got these nice smooth edges to it and what I'm going to do now is open this in the octane live viewer we can see what we're dealing with I'm gonna bring in uh, octane camera Save this. So uh, to add these materials on, I'm going to do a couple of things. First off, we're going to put in um, a HDRI environment. I've already got one saved here. Okay, but obviously we don't want that photo in the background. So what we're going to do is bring in a texture environment and set this as the visible environment. And we're going to make that black. So we're picking up the light from the HDRI environment, but we're seeing the black of the, uh, of the visible. Okay, so now we're gonna add in a couple of materials. For sake of time, I'm gonna go into my content browser and I've got these materials that I purchased from the Pixel Lab. So I'm gonna apply a couple of these quickly. So I'm gonna stick this scratched material onto the cylinder to make it black. Okay, now to create the neon, what we need to do is create a new material, an octane diffuse. Then under the octane diffuse, um, we select emission, black body emission, um, and then we can actually apply that to our cylinder. And we're just gonna apply it to this selection. So there's our lights. Now, they're not glowing at the moment, so we can change that by going to the octane camera tag under post-processing. We can click enable, and then we can bring up the bloom and that increases the glow on those and we go back to the material we can change the temperature of the material to make it warmer all the way down to red or cooler now we can also like and here the red you can see that glow but that doesn't necessarily look realistic because it's solid red like when it's really bright it should be bright white in the middle so we can change that by clicking back on the camera under the camera imager We've got this tab saturate to white now if we turn this up you see then we get that glow in the middle now i'm gonna maybe make that more of a like an orange but um there you go that's kind of the rough idea about how i got the animation um i just added more materials more shine a um, couple of lights in there to add reflection on let me know um if you like this tutorial um and hopefully i'll, I'll try and do more okay cheers Bye.